Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I'm focusing on resolutions that we, as disciples of Jesus Christ, probably ought to pick up in the new year. Not because we're earning God's love or anything like that, but simply to acknowledge that God is working through us to continue to make us better people, better human beings, and a better community. So one of the ways that we can do that is by unlearning unchristlike patterns of reading Scripture. I've spent a lot of my ministry and a lot of my own personal journey with Jesus Christ, not just learning about the Scriptures and reading the Scriptures, but also unlearning a lot of things that I came to the Scriptures with as assumptions um, because of who I am as a white male who happens to be in the United States and things like that, or, or because of ways that I was taught to read the Scriptures. And so one of the things that we're we're constantly striving to do as disciples of Jesus Christ is to follow Jesus. That's the whole point of, of following, uh, being a disciple is following Christ, following Christ's teachings. So a big part of that is reading the scriptures. Well, a lot of times we read scriptures in a flat way. We read them all the same. We, we don't pay attention to the genre of the document that we're reading or, or the time period it was within the overall scope of things. We're just simply saying, this book must have fallen down from heaven and it's perfect as it is. Well, that's not exactly what scriptures are. Scriptures are more like reading someone's prayer journal at times when you're reading the Psalms or reading a nation's understanding of where they came from and how they came to be and how they're struggling to be. As you're reading some of the historical theologies that, that are within 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, or 1st and 2nd Chronicles, there are wonderful places in which we're reading other people's mail, uh, reading about places where Christ was at work in churches and they had questions. All of this means that we have to read it as Christ would read it. Jesus, in, in the New Testament Gospel lessons, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that's where I encourage you to begin this year, he read scriptures from a perspective of striving to find the, the goodness, the compassion, the lesson that God was teaching us. Striving to find how to be better with one another. In fact, the, the group of people that Jesus couldn't stand were the people who treated the scriptures as a rule book or as an instruction book or as a way of gaining power or asserting their own self-righteousness over someone else's self or over someone else's sinfulness. We have to unlearn the unhealthy patterns of scripture, the unchristlike patterns of scripture. Whenever we read the scriptures and we find ourselves justifying who we are or justifying who someone else is, by saying we're better than them or, or something of that nature, or thank God I don't sin the way they do. We're not reading the scriptures the way that Jesus read them. We're reading scriptures much more, actually, like the Pharisees read them in the New Testament characterization of them as wrong, which is in its own way sometimes harmful. We have to be uh, more Christ-following. Follow the Word made flesh more than the Word in the text. Follow the Word made flesh as He reads the Scriptures, as Christ shares the Spirit with us and empowers us to have a new beginning. Pick up the Scriptures this year. If you haven't been, they're a great read. But don't begin at the beginning of the book. Begin in the beginning of the New Testament somewhere. Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John is my favorite place to encourage disciples to read, reread, and live as Christ lived. We, then, will get into the habit and the pattern of reading the scriptures and learning from the scriptures as Christ did, rather than how we've always been. This is Pastor Nathan Decker encouraging you to be better together and better today as a disciple. Amen.